the 43 Mile Riders start out at the beautiful Portland Brewing Tap Room in Northwest Portland. After leaving the tap room, we're going to face eight miles of tough tracks and industrial sized truck traffic. After about a mile on St. Helens Road, we'll turn left onto Highway 30. Here we'll enjoy the beautiful sights of industrial Portland as well as the thrill of having big rigs whiz by you just inches away. In the distance is the beautiful St. John's Bridge. At about mile five we'll pass the abandoned Linton Plywood Association which was a cooperative plywood mill run for about 50 years and right after that we'll pass to the town of Linton which has a rather wild and raucous history. Finally at mile 8 we get relief from Highway 30 as we turn right and go over the bridge onto Savi Island. There's a great view from the top of the bridge and on a clear day you can see three beautiful Cascade mountain peaks St. Helens, Adams and Hood. There's the iconic Cracker Barrel Grocery and just after that there's a small rise as the road takes us to the top of the dike. And just before mile 10 we'll meet up with the 24 mile riders at the Kruger Farm Market. Just after Kruger's we'll turn right onto Northwest Reader Road. The ride on Savi Island is flat, flat, flat. Nonetheless, the island provides a beautiful backdrop of ever-changing scenery. At the intersection at mile 14, we'll bear to the left. Be careful as oncoming traffic does not have to stop. That includes traffic turning left onto Northwest Gilliam Road. At about mile 18, we'll pass Island Cove on the right, and right after that, Island Cove Market. All along this stretch, you'll see numerous osprey nests. The nesting pairs and their chicks are a common sight. In addition, you'll be treated to a nice view of the Columbia River and its water traffic and wildlife. We'll flip around at mile 21 where the pavement ends. At mile 27, we'll turn left on the Northwest Gilliam Loop to complete our clockwise circumnavigation of the island. On the left, there's one nurseryman that's made creative use of old tractors and pickup trucks as planter boxes. And on the right is the pumpkin patch, where probably every kid in Portland got to pick their first pumpkin, take a hayride, do a corn maze, and eat fresh corn on the cob. And at mile 33, we have the bridge in sight and we've just about completed our circuit of Savi Island. When we reach Savi Island Road, we'll turn left and head back to Kruger's where we'll drop off the 24 mile rider, have a picnic and maybe pick some berries. Kruger is a great place to go, hosting numerous farm related events throughout the year. With a belly full of fresh berries, the driveway out of Kruger's can seem like Alpe d'Huez. But soon we turn left onto Savi Island Road and we find ourselves heading over the bridge and back to Northwest Portland.
be extremely careful turning left onto Highway 30 back to Portland. Although it's a controlled intersection, occasionally cars or trucks will run that light at high speeds. You do not want to be a part of that fight. miles left to go, we'll pass under the beautiful St. John's Bridge. Just after the bridge, there's a rather tricky intersection as the off-ramp to the bridge merges with Highway 30. Watch to your right for traffic merging onto Highway 30. And finally, with a little more than a mile to go, we'll turn right onto St. Helens Boulevard. Quick left onto Industrial, then messing with a few more railroad track crossings, and we are home. Thanks for watching.